All right, guys, we're going to do a more advanced tutorial. We're going to start with how to de-jam the blaster from Common Jams. First of all, I'm going to load a blaster. All right, so I'm going to show you the main ways to um, clear jams in the blaster and what they look like. So the first type of jam you're going to get is when the slide doesn't properly close. And when that happens, when you pull the trigger, this is what's going to happen to your blaster. You'll get something like this where you'll be pulling the trigger, but it's, um, well, you'll pull it all the way and obviously it's not blowing back. It's just kind of moving with your trigger. So what that means is basically your slide didn't properly chamber. Uh, that could be caused by debris. It could be caused by more debris, I guess. Um, whatever the cause is, the slide just hasn't closed. So the easiest way to fix this um, is to just give the back a tap like that. And then you'll hear a click. So I'll do it again. So when you tap the back, it's also ringing, but <clears throat> it should also just click in. So when that happens, you'll know it worked because when you pull the trigger, it'll you'll feel tension in the trigger. And then of course, if you pull all the way back, you get the blowback action. Um, I didn't chamber the first round, which is why nothing happened. Now there's a shell there. Um, so that's the first type of jam. The second type of jam that you'll see is you'll, when you pull the trigger, um, instead of feeling tension, you'll just feel a hard wall. Uh, it's hard for me to demonstrate what this will look like, but basically as you're pulling, there'll be like a slight amount of wiggle in your trigger, like a slight amount, but then it won't actually move. You can't, you can't keep pulling, it just there's, it doesn't go anywhere. What that basically means is that your shell didn't properly chamber, so now it's not the slide that hasn't closed, it's the shell itself. Basically, there's just something obstructing the pusher from going forward because this is your trigger is directly attached to the pusher. So if you feel a hard stop, that just means there's something in the way. And usually what uh, how this happens is the shell is like slightly canted like this or it's just not properly aligned. And the fix for this is, funny enough, the same thing as before. It should just tap the back of the slide. Usually that'll do the trick. If it doesn't, then the last thing you can do, or the next thing you can do, um, and this also works to clear most jams in general, is you just take the slide and just, just re-rack your slide. Simply re-racking your slide usually fixes those, both of those problems actually. Um, and that's also a pretty common way to clear jams in real life, is you just re-chamber your round. So yeah, that's the uh, those are the two most common types of jams. Um, if that doesn't fix it, then we could also do is you can remove the mag, release your round, and then rechamber everything. I know I just did a bunch of things, but um, basically you can cycle through all your actions. You can change, you can re-rack the slide, remove the magazine, yada yada yada. You could also do is when you rack the slide, you can hold it in the lock position, which I guess I'll show you, I'll explain as the next little trick you can do. You don't have to wait until the last round to lock your slide back. So what I did, what I did right there is, when I pulled the slide back, I also, oh, I like this. When I pulled the slide back, I also press this tab up. Normally the follower is what hits this up, but you can also hit it up manually. And then when you release the slide, it stays locked back. If you don't do that, of course, then when you pull it back, it just closes again. So you pull it back and then hit the tab and then let go. It'll lock onto your slide lock. All right, and then, then that'll allow you to do things like removing the magazine and clearing the blaster and then re-sliding in the mag and dropping the slide. Um, I need a mic because while I can hear myself talking, the microphone can't always pick it up, especially when I'm doing things like manipulating the slide and slapping this thing. Um, so I guess you'll just have to wait till I get that better mic. All right. So on that note, I'm going to show you two um, more advanced. Well, I don't know if they're more advanced, just more interesting tactical ways to use the blaster. So this has to do with the slide lock. So the typical slide lock position is like this, and then you drop the slide by hitting the slide lock button like so. 
So that's the typical way of doing it, but there are alternative ways. Uh, There's not really a benefit, I think, but it feels kind of cool. So, I mean, the rule of cool. And that's why kind of why you got this anyways. That's why I use it. When your slide is locked, instead of hitting this tab, what you can do is simply pull back on your slide. What that'll do is, if I do uh, stepwise, you'll see this um, this slide will lock will fall down when I press on the slide. See that? So the slide lock has moved out of the way. So now when you let go, it'll close up. So at regular speed, it'll look like this. So it's just an alternative way of dropping the slide. Um, again, I don't know what the benefit really is. I feel like putting it, uh, dropping the slide with the same firing hand is just faster. You only need one hand. Whereas this one requires you to reach over. But then you bump your slide against like your boot or your buckle. And that'll also drop the slide. Um, I don't have a belt buckle here. So we'll just pretend my hand is the belt buckle. So what they'll do is they'll just take this, the slide and just bump it up against it. How that I hit the extractor, and they'll bump it up against it, and that'll um, drop the slide. And then yeah, that that about concludes all the uh, more interesting advanced techniques. Um, I left the fun stuff at the end, and of course the more practical jam fixing stuff is in the beginning. Um, if you guys have any other questions, uh, you can leave us a comment or you can drop us a. Uh, a message on our contacts page if you're also as a general note if your blaster is jamming a lot then there's probably something wrong with it and you should reach out or if we have a tutorial video about how to fix this thing you can just watch those um, but yeah a I don't know I don't know what is a normal amount of jams um, just if it's if you if you have any questions or doubts just send us a message otherwise have fun um, there will be a link somewhere in the description, probably. And if not, if you're watching this on our website, then, well, if you click on the description, you're just going to go back to the website. So, or wherever I choose to link it to. Maybe I'll rickroll you guys. Or probably I will. All right, well, that about concludes this uh, this tutorial. Um, hopefully there's more memes in here. I'm going to edit this and add in funny things, maybe. Um this part of the tutorial isn't a tutorial anymore. I'm just talking into the wind. Nobody's down here. It is 7.58 a.m. Um, I have not gone to bed yet because my sleep schedule is a little messed up. Um, a, a little messed up. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah. But I think this tutorial format thing is working. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave all this uh, rambling in. Um... But I think it's at least helping me articulate my words better now that I have to hear it when I'm editing everything and also when people are listening to me talk. So, I don't know. That's, uh, that's where we are right now. Um, if you're still here, um, first, of, first of all, why? Why are you still here? Um, but also, thank you for being here. I'll know who's here because I'll see it in the audience retention rate. And it'll be really funny if there's still like more than 20% of you guys here at this position um maybe i need to put easter eggs at the at the back of the videos um drink water i'll probably put that in in the uh video earlier on maybe i'll like throw it on one of those things in the background <clears throat> um yeah okay well i'm just padding uh padding the watch time now so i don't know i think if the videos are over like 10 minutes or so i can put two ads two ads in the middle of my videos um i don't know if that helps it probably doesn't if it's a tutorial if your tutorial is just interrupted by a random ad about something nothing to do with this um so maybe we won't turn those on but i feel like videos do better if you put ads on it i don't know i'm not a youtube person so okay well that's about it i'm gonna cut the clip and um we're at 11 minutes now um on the raw recording maybe on this video it won't be 11 minutes maybe this will be at like five the five minute mark um all right well that's about it i'm gonna go edit this now and then probably go to bed all right goodbye